Longtime Congresswoman Marilyn Lloyd is being remembered today as a tireless worker for her home district. Lloyd from Chattanooga died last night at the age of 89. From 1974 to 1994, Marilyn Lloyd represented Tennessee's third district, all the way from Marion and Grundy County to here in Hamilton, on north into Bradley and to Oak Ridge. Her positive impact is still being felt today. Marilyn Lloyd's path to Congress was tragic and sudden. Married for 11 years to popular news anchor Mort Lloyd, she ran his business interests for many years and was a supportive wife when he decided to run for Congress. Shortly after winning the Democratic primary election in 1974, Mort Lloyd died when the single-engine plane he was piloting crashed between Chattanooga and Nashville. After a week of mourning, his 45-year-old widow was asked by party leaders to run in his place. Although reluctant at first, she eventually agreed, going on to defeat the Republican incumbent later that year. Thus began a 10-term, 20-year political career, never losing an election. In the beginning, however, some critics had their doubts. Because there are a lot of people that really thought the world was coming to an end when I got elected. And I talked with them. I sought their counsel. I sought their advice. And a lot of those people became part of my team. Her team served her well. She was a quick study, mastering the intricacies of TVA and the Oak Ridge National Laboratory, both major employers in her district. She traveled the world to foreign outposts, both friendly and hostile, including visits to support servicemen and women in Saudi Arabia. It takes a lot of hard work, it takes a lot of dedication, and it takes a lot of, of sacrificing on the part of your family as well. Although a Democrat, she took pride in challenging and befriending presidents and colleagues on both sides of the aisle. Somewhat surprisingly, she said the president whom she most respected was a Republican, George H.W. Bush, whom we now know as Bush 41. And he was always a good personal friend. Philosophically, yes, we differed at times, but he was a great friend, and he certainly knew how to work with the Congress. And I think that's evident with some of the legislation that was passed with the help of Democrats, because of the respect that many Democrats had for George Bush. On the local scene, she was proud of her part in revitalizing downtown Chattanooga, obtaining federal grant money to build and improve the city's bridges, highways, and attractions. She said she never sought the credit or the spotlight because her constituents let her know she was a winner on their ballots and in their hearts. Anytime that you've been elected, 10 times you are appreciated. Visitation for Marilyn Lloyd will be on Saturday of this week, Saturday, September 22nd, from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. at Chattanooga Church, which is on Adamson Circle right off Bonnie Oaks Drive. A celebration of life for Marilyn Lloyd will be held at the Chattanooga Church on Sunday afternoon at 1. Many people have reached out with tributes, including the person who succeeded her in Congress, Zach Wonk, said she was total class. We have more tributes on our website and inside the WRCB app.